guys, welcome back to Pat Max Adventures. I am Patrick, and today I am doing something that is very, very long overdue for me to do, not just here in the Philippines, but just in general, and that is buying and upgrading my computer. This is a MacBook Air, which I bought in January 2015. It's done me very well. It's a great computer. It's been great for traveling because it's so thin. However, any vlogger or YouTuber out there will tell you that the MacBook Airs are not really made for video editing and processing a lot of videos. This poor baby has worked really hard. Every time I edit a video and I upload a video, it takes hours for it to process on this computer. The computer's fan starts blowing, the computer gets really, really hot, and it's just a little of a hot mess, but it's worked really good as this baby has worked hard for the past five years, almost six years now, and has done me well. It's about time that I get a new computer. I want to be able to edit videos more quickly and just not wait for a video to upload for hours and just have the processing going a lot more quickly. In a previous video where I was in BGC, which you can check out right up here, I went into the Apple store in BGC and they were completely out of stock of MacBook Pros along with Mega Mall and a few other locations here in Manila and I couldn't believe it. There were no MacBook Pros for a month or two. For the past few weeks, I've been calling to try to find out updates and finally stores here in Manila have MacBook Pros in stock. The one location that has the computer that I want is located in Pasig City at the SM East Ortega's Mall. So I'll be heading there today and I am so excited guys. It's about time for me to get a new computer. So let's head out guys and head to the mall. SM East Ortegas is a really cute mall here. It isn't a huge mall here in Manila, but it is a good size. I looked up and this mall used to be called Ever Gotesco, which was another mall that was here. And correct me if I'm wrong guys, but I read about that it was flooded back in 2010. And then this SM mall was built here. You can find everything that you're looking for. They have a good amount of restaurants, Uniqlo, the Apple store, Store, nice little food court area so cool place to check out if you're the, in the area of Pasig this color too no no uh, this one's for the only for the MacBook Air oh uh, okay just this yes this one. okay right space gray right space gray right yeah <laughs> So it's done guys, I have my new computer. This was definitely not cheap, but well overdue for me. So I'm so excited to have it and finally have everything done. They were great here, super helpful. Right now I'm gonna go grab some food for some lunch. I'm starving. <laughs> So I decided to come have lunch at Max's today. They give you a paper menu. I think today I'm just gonna get the solo chicken. Usually I go to Worcesters, but today I'll try Max's. Thank you. So here's my lunch, guys. I've got the fried chicken here, some rice, lumpia, which I always love. I cannot wait to dip the lumpia in the sauce here. I believe that's some kind of garlic vinegar sauce, I think, maybe. And this cute little caramel bar. First up is the fried chicken. Let's see. <laughs> Tastes good. Tastes like fried chicken. Now for my favorite guys, the lumpia. Dip it in the sauce here. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Mmm. Now that's good. The chicken is okay. The lumpia is very good. This is what I love. This is the first lumpia I've had 
at either Roasters or Maxis, but I have to say, this is really good lumpia. And finally, the little cute caramel bar. Let's see. Mmm. That's good. Very good. Sweet and moist. Very moist. <laughs> it's good. Here is my new MacBook Pro, guys. It is space gray. The total cost was 113,000 pesos. That roughly comes out to 2,345, somewhere around there. It has one terabyte of storage, a ton of storage, and it is beautiful, and this is way, way overdue. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, guys, here is my new baby. Check it out, check it out, oh yeah. Brand new. Wow. I've already set it up at the store. It also has a touch screen here, which is totally new for me. Compare it to my 2015 MacBook Air. I think this is about a 14 inch. This new one is 13 inches. Thanks to Apple's great marketing, <laughs> I needed to buy an extension with an SD card and USB connectors right here. Completely different to my 2015 MacBook Air, which they're already built into the computer. So that's one downside to the new models, but this is gonna make such a huge difference for me. I thought I would share with you guys a typical meal I make at home. Today I'm going to start with some onions, cutting them up. These are onions that I did buy last week at the Pasig Mega Market. I usually will cut them up and then add them to the rice in the rice cooker. I love cooking the onions and rice together. And then I move on to a carrot. Again, this is something I bought at the Mega Market last week. And yes, guys, I did clean everything and wash everything thoroughly. I know some people commented and saying, please make sure to wash everything because people are touching them. I did. Usually what I'll first do is I'll first wash the carrot and then I'll skin it, cut it up, and then I will put it into the steamer above on the rice cooker. Then I move on to green beans, which I believe this is the second time I've washed these green beans since bringing them home. I usually will wash them for about a minute. Then I like to cut the ends of the green beans and then I add them to the carrots on top of the steamer. And finally, on to chicken. Today I am eating chicken sauteed in teriyaki sauce. So I'll cut up the chicken, put the chicken in with the rice and the onions. I love to cook those together because not only will the chicken have the teriyaki sauce, but so will the rice. Those will heat up and steam the green beans and carrots above. This will be my lunch and dinner for today. So this is my new MacBook Pro computer. I am so excited about this. This definitely wasn't cheap. My mom and uncle helped me purchase this this year as a birthday gift, which was very kind. I was not expecting my mom and uncle to offer and to give me this as a gift this year. I was already ready to buy it on my own, so I'm very, very thankful for that. Thank you again, mom and Bob. This computer is gonna make my life so much better and I am super excited about editing my first video on it. I've been using this 2015 MacBook Air for almost six years and I've edited over 200 videos on this computer, which I don't know how this computer survived. I think just this year with the pandemic and the lockdowns has given me a chance to catch up. I've been working more online teaching, so more teaching hours means more money, so I've been able to make some more money from teaching. Then I'm also upgrading some products like the Apple computer and my iPad, which I feel like I'm a walking Apple product, <laughs> which by the way, I used Samsung for years. The reason why I have an iPhone, an iPad, and now a MacBook Pro is because of the company that I work for, Palfish Teaching. For whatever reason, their company and their system, the configuration with Apple is fantastic. There's really no problems, and with teaching online, it is imperative to have a smooth connection and to have everything going as smooth as possible because any issues could cause complaints and things down the line. I want the best configuration when it comes to teaching. I almost bought a new Samsung 
phone, but the configuration sometimes has issues with Palfish. A lot of people teach on Samsung's just fine. I just grew up using Apple computers, and I'm so used to using iMovie and Final Cut Pro that it's just easy for me just to stick with these systems. Overall, I'm very happy and this is going to make things a lot better for me when it comes to editing. How about you guys? Do you guys like Apple products? Do you have a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air? Do you have an iPad or an iPhone? I know there's a lot of people that don't like Apple and I totally understand. But for me, the reason again is for work, for teaching. I, I don't know why, but the configurations with Palfish and Apple are absolutely perfect. So if you're gonna teach with Palfish, one of these companies, definitely look into Apple products because the configurations with a lot of them are great. And this was a bit of a day in the life, I guess, kind of video taking you guys up with me to go buy the new MacBook Pro. I am so excited to edit my first video on this, which will happen this following week. Thanks again for watching, guys, and remember to live every moment to the max. I'll see you guys next time.